Hello friends, we all know that June 19 is celebrated as Reading Day in honor of P.N. Panikkar. In connection with the Reading Week, it's my immense pleasure to introduce and tell about a book that I have read that is Wuthering Heights. Wuthering Heights is a 1947 novel by Emily Bronte. It is considered to be one of the classic among the English literature. It has received many critical appreciations as well as controversial statements because of its depictions on mental as well as physical cruelty. Yet, it tells a very woven, beautiful tale of how a human mind changes under circumstances and situations. The story begins in winter of 1801, where a man, Lockwood, asks Nellie to narrate the story of Heathcliff. Heathcliff is the adopted son of Mr. Earnshaw. He already had two children, that is Hintley and Catherine. At first, both of these children uh, hated Heathcliff, but later on Catherine falls in love with Heathcliff. But due to social status, as well as many other reasons, Catherine couldn't marry Heathcliff. Then the story goes on. Then the story turns a turn of violence and vengeance between, that is clearly depicted between he, the relationship of Heathcliff as well as Hindley. But there are also characters which depicts love and that wins uh, love over selfishness, etc. Wuthering Heights marks a number of central themes such as good versus evil, judgment versus pity, love, obsession, violence, vengeance, and belongingness. Character traits such as kindness, love, humility, humanity, etc. shows the good opportunities or as the good judgments where violence, vengeance, obsession shows the evil side. The relationship between Hindley as well as Heathcliff shows the violence and vengeance nature of the human beings because they forget or forgives, uh, sorry, they forget to forgive each other and uh, they just go on to violence for lessening their own pain. But whereas other characters such as young Catherine, Edgerton, Hairton, and there are many other characters who stick on to their goodness. And there are also people who are in between, in, in the middle of both these traits, such as they themselves think that they are very much uh, good persons, but in reality, they are mostly among the evil side. They show their good nature, but they are not good. Then another main theme that is discussed here is judgment versus pity. Here, pity does not mean in its modern sense, such as pity here means sympathy, empathy, etc., not feeling sorry for some other person. Then, in the protagonist and antagonist uh, is uh, the Heathcliff himself, and he uh, always pointed himself on a debate in between good and evil, and later on it lands his death. Then uh, there uh, Heathcliff's and Catherine's soul wander because she also chose not to be in the heaven and uh, not to be in a religion etc while she was alive. Then there are also other characters such as Hayton, young Catherine who shows love can win over anything, pride, obsession and many other things. While as Heathcliff and Catherine their love turned on to obsession and yet the history says. So this novel depicts beautifully the human emotions, the pure human emotions that we see in our society, the atrocities that we see in our society, such as violence, vengeance, how love turns into evil, how goodness turns into evil, how people just uh, due to on the basis of circumstances changes themselves, their good nature, etc. So playing with such an emotions are, uh, or this novel plays or it has a good taste, a mix of taste on human emotions, a wide variety of human emotions. That's why it is one of the classic in the English literature and is such a good book to read on. I had a very great experience reading this book and I hope that all of you will also have a very beautiful experience in, with this book. Thank you.